My name is Kieran McCarthy. I'm Lord Mayor of Cork for 2023-2024. Uh, I'm also an independent uh, member uh, of Cork City Council. Uh, and in recent years, we've been involved in a, a series of urbacked projects, uh, one of which is uh, called the Playful Paradigm. Uh, and I'm here to, uh, to talk about the, uh, the impact of the Playful Paradigm and how positive it was and how creative it was uh, for the city of Cork. The Playful Paradigm in its I suppose in its original rollout um, was always going to be innovative and creative and there was kind of a blank canvas uh, and kind of led the um, the initial cities that were involved in its creation uh, on, a, on a fantastic journey and uh, we went from something that was very I don't know pioneering in terms of trying to create a playful city what does that actually mean uh, to the national transfer network itself but now it's, it's been rolled out where cities can actually see that there is a a gorgeous positive impact uh, for cities and across a whole range of urban themes, everything from public health uh, to place making uh, to, to green agenda, um, but ultimately actually just getting the people of cities, towns, uh, neighbourhoods uh, to engage with the street and discover more about the street and even discover some of their neighbours because kids and families are playing with the playful paradigm on the street in front of their house or within their main kind of city centre area. One of the areas that was tested was uh, it's a historic walkway that over the years turned into a, a rat run for cars. Um, it's a historic area called the, Mar the Marina the Marina in Cork um, and it dates back to the 1850s. And I think one of the things that uh, Playful Paradigm did was actually we closed that street over a series of weekends. Um, and, all the, and we put this uh, tug of war and playful paradigm tools and um, big giant connect fours and other elements onto the marina itself. And interesting, it, it kind of it, it lit a fire for uh, a bigger discussion on the re-pedestrianisation of the street. Itself. And at this moment in time, uh, there's a, a couple of million euros being invested through central government funding to actually restore it as a promenade. When the, the national transfer element was first introduced into Ireland around the Playful Paradigm, um, the different groups in different towns came to Cork and I met them and I, and I spoke about the impact of RBAC and its positiveness and, and why people should engage with the programme. And I think lots of people, lots of organisations within other city councils slash town councils in Ireland um, have, have taken it up and kind of been, and, and, and embraced it positively. But the feedback seems to be really, really great where the same element of closing off streets or creating a playful area in the middle of towns and villages is also kind of being rolled out, which I deem kind of positive. It is the hope of Cork City Council to submit um, a good practice uh, story, especially around the playful paradigm. So the playful paradigm has empowered us in, 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 in many, many ways. And of course, we, we've also taken on a horizon, one of the horizon missions as well, the, the climate neutrality by 2030, the net zero by 2030. We're one of the 112 cities involved in that. And all of those actually have been, they've been growing over the years because of contact with our back and kind of growing in confidence. It's very clear over the last um, 10 years that uh, approaches to urban policy have evolved right across the European Union and across the world. Um, but what we're seeing is that um, as of many best practices or good practices um, are emerging um, across a whole range of different kind of urban themes. Um, but it's very, very, very important that we share um, best practices, good practices, and the journeys that the cities have been on. Um, and I'm of the view that um, every municipality across the European Union is kind of working on some sort of really an important nugget that can help uh, other cities, towns, uh, small towns and big towns and cities right across the European Union. Um, so don't leave it to someone else to write up their best practice. Um, you, um, the municipality listening to this, you need to write up your best practice as someone is to Urbac. Um, and I think that's very, very important to share all those ideas um, so that we all move forward together and that no one is left behind.